What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Will Penny. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG C43, courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, we are in this one today because it is incredibly good looking and I have a feeling it is gonna be incredibly quick as well because it is an AMG, of course, which quite honestly is reason enough to test drive one of these but ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with price and so msrp for the amg c43 will start at sixty thousand seven hundred dollars however of course in typical mercedes fashion there are a ton of options price has tested for this particular one that we're in today goes for $75,380. But regardless of the configurations that you go with, the power plant is going to be the same on the C43. Powering the Beast is a handcrafted two liter turbocharged four cylinder with a 48 volt mild hybrid system. And yes, it is handcrafted. There's actually a plaque on each individual engine signed by the master technician. Power numbers come in at 402 horsepower at around 6,700 RPM, 369 pound feet of torque coming in at 5,000 RPM. Power is gonna be sent to all four wheels through the Mercedes Ford Matic all-wheel drive system, of course. Power sent to the ground through a nine-speed automatic with paddle shifters. Zero to 60 time, according to Mercedes-Benz, at least comes in at 4.6 seconds. However, road and track did clock it at 3.9. So that's typical Mercedes fashion there. They always kind of under-promise and over-deliver. But top speed, if you're interested, 165 miles per hour. That's dang impressive there. With MPG numbers coming in at 20 in the city, 28 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in the C43. Did want to mention to you guys the drive moves. It's actually just an AMG button kind of located just underneath the infotainment screen that gives you different drive moves like comfort, sport, sport plus, slippery, and individual as well. Adjusting things like the shift points, throttle response, suspension settings, the engine sound, and the steering sensitivity. So quite a bit as far as adjustments go. That's pretty cool. So anywho, now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find it straight away. Let's put the paddle shifters in acceleration here to the test i want to see how quickly the paddle shifters are going to react for us and let's see how quickly we can get our new amg c43 here up to speed all right we are in sport plus driving mode i just put it in manual shift mode as well in three two one go oh oh, oh. <laughs> the exhaust is ridiculous holy moly that was fun dude that was fun. Holy cow. I felt that in the pit of my stomach incredibly quick. It does feel like 0 to 60 and 3.9. Best part about that acceleration is that there was no spinning, of course. It's not rear wheel drive. If it were to be rear wheel drive, it would have been just sliding to the left and the right like it did in the C8 Corvette recently. But since it's the Formatic all wheel drive system, all that power, all that torque was put down to the ground and there was no spinning whatsoever. I personally love that because that's full control right there. So big fan of that. Paddle shifters were instantaneous. They're also very high quality, I'll have you know. They don't feel like plastic. They feel like high quality aluminum silver paddle shifters. So I was a big fan of that as well. Uh, as far as transmission goes, I wanted to mention this now. When you're going quickly, uh, it, it is instantaneous. And when you're at high speeds, it's super buttery smooth however at lower speeds just cruising out of the parking lot of the dealership there it was kind of clunky it was very interesting and something I'm not used to with uh, Mercedes-Benz I'll say that because it kind of jerked you around a little bit I didn't expect the clunkiness out of that nine-speed automatic transmission at lower speeds at least at higher speeds you can't, can't even tell it's perfectly fine but for whatever reason at lower speeds it was kind of weird but having said that again acceleration breathtaking paddle shifters lightning quick but to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 14.6 inch perforated front discs with four piston front calipers in the back 12.6 inch rear disc with silver painted calipers of course as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes that comes in at an incredible 103 feet that is 100 a sports car number without a doubt typically sports sedans give you one teens but 100 three feet that's like dang good that is dang good like class leading good as far as braking feel goes this thing instantly brings you to a freaking stop i love it braking 100 crushed it 
So Mercedes keeps crushing it with this. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get a four link front axle in the back, five R multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, but my very favorite, a three stage variable damping suspension. So that essentially monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you a better handling, giving you the best of both worlds. Let's go ahead and put it back in sport real quick. As far as ride quality, goes by the way it's been perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today definitely absorbing the road imperfections amazingly so love that as far as steering feel goes it is a night and day difference depending upon the drive mode that you put it in i'm in sport plus right now the handling is incredible holy moly it doesn't just adjust the steering feel the handling is insane on this thing like oh my gosh amg mercedes-benz you did a wonderful job with the c43 in terms of performance so huge fan of that as far as cabin noise goes we're going 45 miles per hour right now i'll let you guys be the judge of that through my road mic did want to mention though there is an acoustic glass package i guess for 150 dollars that does give you an acoustic laminated front windshield and acoustic laminated front side glass as well so if you wanted the most serene cabin that's how you're going to go ahead and get it then touching our rear visibility as i just pulled over here i can see perfectly fine out the back typically with a sedan with this type of shape you're not going to have absolutely any issues whatsoever with rear visibility did want to also mention though rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the c43 so whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn those on for you so gotta love that and there is a head-up display that does come with the pinnacle trim that's a package option essentially that goes for three thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars it gives you a ton of different things including this head-up display i'm currently looking at it does look a little blurry actually but it is displaying my speed speed limit and safety features up onto my windshield so it's one less thing you gotta worry about just like automatic headlights so gotta love that as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our incredibly good looking 2024 mercedes-benz amg c43 all right so here she is you guys the new 2024 mercedes-benz amg c43 finished in black yes that is the exact exterior color name of this one very creative but anyways let's go ahead and start with where this one is made first character on the vin is the letter w which typically indicates that it is built and assembled in germany which is where the engine and transmission are from however final assembly point believe it or not south africa that's a little different i haven't seen one in south africa yet before so pretty cool but starting up front of course you got that iconic vertical slot amg specific front grille with the amg badging found in the bottom corner there you gotta love that got the amg crest on the front hood i'll get up a little bit closer to show that to you guys it's a pretty cool design so anywho hopefully you can see that a little bit that's pretty cool as well got led headlights with led daytime running lights they do come standard you got the automatic feature along with automatic high beams so if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up the high beams for you there then if you were to go with that pinnacle trim i mentioned earlier that one adds led digital light headlamps so that is the brightest illumination allowed by law essentially so you got that as well and to the bottom corners you got front air curtains to go along with all that for a little better aerodynamics but that pretty much rounds out the front end like i said such a great looking front end to the amg c43 let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right and so now let's see you around to the side of this one you're either going to find satin chrome or gloss black window surrounds depending upon the configuration that you go with taking a look at those side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will also be heated and they are power folding actually as well so when you lock this one up it's going to automatically fold in then when you unlock the vehicle they're going to fold back out pretty cool LED integrated turn signals also found in those side mirrors though and you got some badging found in the front fenders um yet again going to get up a little bit closer it actually says turbo electrified in case you were curious what that actually says we're referring to the 48 volt mild hybrid system of course so interesting typically you see a little bit different badging on amgs but that's new to me anyway got some chrome accents found on those door handles as well and then when it comes to the wheel setup there are several different designs actually available the standard design is an 18 inch amg specific alloys i believe they're finished in a 10 spoke however there are 19 inch and 20 inch designs available as well including the 20 inch design that you are currently looking at which by the way go for 1650 dollars in case you were curious but anyways 
that pretty much rounds out the side profile looks absolutely stunning to me but now let's go ahead and swing around to the back all right and so now let's see all around to the back of this one first thing i always like to mention with mercedes-benz in particular because they always do this there is no shark fin antenna up top it is a very clean look which i definitely personally prefer but rear spoiler does come standard on this one you got the amg badging found in that upper left hand corner there you gotta love that LED taillights for added illumination at night. Also very nice. Just below it all, you're going to find a rear diffuser. You guys can see that in the middle there. And then to the sides, integrated dual exhaust outlets with either quad chrome tips or quad kind of like brushed bronze tips. They're kind of a, just a dark tip. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now let's see you around to the back of the C43. When it comes to opening that rear trunk, it is a power trunk, so that's pretty cool. There's a button on the key fob. There is also, of course, a rubberized button on the trunk then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 12.6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. And cool thing about that is there is actually some buttons found in the cargo area to go ahead and fold those rear seats down. So that's that definitely made it quite easy but rear center armrest with cup holders and a phone holder actually do come standard and if you're wondering how those cup holders work you just simply press back a little bit and then let it go and that is going to open them up but rear ventilation coming standard you do have dual rear usb charging ports coming standard back there then as well but then make your way up to the front seats power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar do come standard got memory settings for both the driver and the passenger that's something you typically don't find on other manufacturers is usually just the driver but passengers got them too i love that heated front seats do come standard if you want to ventilate front seats that goes for 450 dollars and amg performance seats go for 2500 dollars for a little added bolstering if you wanted those but also love the amg badging found in the upper portion of the seats overall seat comfort was 100 on point absolutely no issues there the bolstering is still insanely nice in our particular seat setup that we have with us here today but then take a look at the steering wheel because that is equally impressive tilt and telescoping of course power adjustable by the way that was pretty cool leather wraps does come standard you got the amg badging found in the bottom portion of that steering wheel heated steering wheel goes for 250 dollars you can get a microfiber steering wheel for an additional 500 dollars if you wanted that or a microfiber slash carbon fiber combination for 900 dollars if you wanted to go that route but so then making our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here. It is an AMG specific key. So you got your AMG badging on the one side. When you flip it over, lock, unlock, and the button to pop the trunk there. And by the way, the AMG Mercedes logo, that is going to be the lock button in case you were curious. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot of the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the infotainment screen there. And so once started up, as far as the gauge cluster goes, it is a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster. And it it is insanely customizable. I always say this, there's a home button on the left side of the steering wheel. If you press that, it gives you a bunch of different loadouts like Super Sport, which by the way is specific to only AMG vehicles with Mercedes. You got Sport, Classic, Understated. There's a full navigation setup then as well. So a bunch of different looks you could put up there. I personally like the Super Sport because like I said, you can't get that on every other Mercedes. It's only on AMG products. Um, I also like the Understated. I think that looks really good as well but tons of different things you could check out up there including outside temperature of course uh trip a trip b there's a digital speedometer there's g4 statistics how many miles you have left until you hit empty you got the amg logo at the bottom the list goes on pretty much everything you could possibly want up there and it's kind of a 3d digital gauge cluster as well you guys can see that with the super sport setup at least that we have on this particular setting it looks so dang good without a doubt but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality first thing i wanted to mention is a power sunroof does come standard however a panorama roof going all the way through to the back seats there goes for one thousand dollars that does give the rear passengers their own view of the sky as well dual zone climate control does come standard you got 64 colors of ambient lighting in a typical mercedes fashion it is done better than 
any other manufacturer out there, so you gotta love that. AMG illuminated door sills, also very impressive. Universal garage door openers, that's for up to three different garage doors found on the bottom portion of that frameless rear view mirror there. Gotta love that. Wireless phone charger does come standard. You have multiple different wood trims available if you wanted to go that route. There's plenty of different trims available. It's not just wood, by the way. You can get carbon fiber trim, you can get a metal weave trim, or the trim that we have today. So plenty of different options there. You gotta love the authentic aluminum speaker covers, I think they look dang good as well you got alloy foot pedals in typical amg fashion there just underneath the infotainment screen is where your wireless phone charger is located you got a couple usb charging ports along with your cup holders and within the center armrest it's an okay amount of storage not a ton but there's an led light in there that's pretty cool a couple more usb charging ports in there as well and i don't want to forget to mention the uh, red seat belts. Um, you can get black seat belts, but red seat belts actually do come standard on the AMG C43. So that is pretty darn cool as well. So overall, Mercedes, as always, crushed it when it comes to the interior quality, as expected in an AMG, I guess you could say. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. 11.9 inch tablet style color touchscreen display coming standard. Got Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, but it's wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay, so you gotta love that. Factory navigation system does come standard. You can check out your climate control information up there as well, along with your ambient lighting colors and the brightness. So that was pretty cool playing around with that. There is also actually a AMG performance pages. So went ahead and hit that. That gives you different vehicle information, engine information. There's this cool uh, IWC kind of wristwatch looking thing. Also gives you the day of the week and the date of the month up there as well. It's kind of like an authentic wristwatch. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Um, of course, you can check out your radio information up there too so when it comes to the sound systems uh, the standard sound system is a front base five speaker sound system however there is an optional sound system with the pinnacle trim that gives you a Burmester 3d surround sound system and that is actually the one that we have with us here today so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio let's see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one Yeah, it's incredible. Ton of bass, ton of clarity. Burmester always does an amazing job, so yeah, that'll get the job done. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the C43 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. You also got that uh, panoramic view monitor there to the left, giving you that bird's eye view, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the C-Class is an IIHS top safety pick plus, so it doesn't get any better than that. That's the highest rating possible from IIHS. That pretty much has it all right there. Front side, side current air bags do come standard. You got a driver's knee airbag front as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Attention assist, active brake assist, emergency call service, blind spot assist with exit warning, parktronic with active parking assist, which will scare you at first, but it works absolutely amazing. There's also a driver assistance package that goes for $1,950. That gives you adaptive cruise control, active blind spot assist, active brake assist with cross traffic function, emergency stop assist, lane change assist, lane keep assist, active steering assist, evasive steering assist, and congestion emergency braking then as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the C43, brilliant performance. Let me just start with the obvious here. Amazingly quick, zero to 60 and 3.9 is remarkable. Amazing braking, 60 to zero and 103 feet is insane. Also excellent handling, especially in that sport plus driving mode. This thing handles straight up like a sport Sports car. It's absolutely amazing. Excellent design as well. Very timeless design. Very iconic with the AMG details as well. So you got to love that. Incredible interior quality. You really can't beat interior quality with Mercedes Benz. Insane exhaust note. That was one of my favorite parts, especially during that acceleration. I'm sure you guys could tell. This thing sounds like a million bucks. It's absolutely amazing. As far as room for improvement goes, I still think, I, I'm gonna say this every Mercedes video, I feel like, but safety should come standard. That last safety package I rambled off to you guys, which goes for $2,000, a lot of that, most of that, you can actually get on the base Corolla. So I'm just saying that should be standard. Um, the only other thing I could think of is, uh, of course, this can get very pricey very quick. The MSRP is 60 grand, and this particular one that we're driving is 75. That's $15,000 over MSRP. So that is quite substantial, but that is to be expected really in most Mercedes Benz. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments section below. That's
that's about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen. If you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe to the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.